The Russian army has taken delivery of advanced T-90 and T-72 main battle tanks with enhanced turret protection, which is a metal mesh mounted on the turret's roof, that will increase the protection against loitering munitions. The Indian army is using special fuel and is inducting pure lead-tin batteries to replace lead-acid batteries on its armored vehicles, to deal with extreme cold temperatures in eastern Ladakh. Eastern Air Command is developing a capability to use any available airfield including civilian ones in the eastern part of the country, to protect the country's airspace and borders. The Commanding-in-Chief of Western Naval Command embarked on INS Vikramaditya and reviewed operational and combat readiness of the Western Fleet. Hyderabad-based Eon Space Labs has developed an electro-optical infrared sensor, that has ability to detect humans from a staggering distance of 1.5 km using drones. Pakistan is planning to expand its J-10C fleet from its current 25 units to 60, that will replace its aging F-16. India will install radiation detection equipment at eight land crossing points along its borders with Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal and Myanmar to prevent the trafficking of radioactive materials. National Aerospace Laboratories has made substantial progress in the development of target tracking algorithms for infrared search and track system, and missile approach warning system for Tejas Mark II and AMCA program. NAL has successfully created simulated environments to replicate realistic scenarios involving various target situations, to evaluate the performance of multi-target tracking algorithms. It has carried out extensive work in multi-sensor fusion algorithm development, as well as angle-only target tracking algorithms to track maneuvering targets using angular measurements, and passive ranging algorithm to determine the range of detected targets without active radar emissions, thus ensuring a stealthy approach. Hindustan Aeronautics has said, that the initial batch of Tejas Mark 1A fighters will be equipped with the Israeli Acer radar, However, the Utam Mark 1 radar will be incorporated starting with the 41st Tejas Mark 1A aircraft, and also on the additional 97 Tejas Mark 1A aircraft. The Tejas Mark 1A will also get the advanced self-protection jammer pod, that has now been officially named as Angered, which is based on active phase array technology, that empowers the aircraft to dynamically manipulate its radar beam according to changing scenarios and optimize jamming effectiveness. Chennai-based Hawking Defense has developed a lightweight wearable anti-drone system that weighs only 775 grams, that consists of wearable radio frequency sensors for drone detection, and jammers that utilize smart jamming to defeat enemy drones. This versatile system will allow dismounted soldiers to operate hands-free and focus on their mission. The Chief of Defense Staff had recently ordered two studies to be conducted on unmanned aerial vehicles and armored helicopters used by all three services, to optimize the number of platforms required as well as their resources and avoid duplication. The first study has been completed, with a recommendation to acquire 31 MQ-9B high-altitude long-endurance UAVs and 155 medium-altitude long-endurance UAVs. The second study for armored helicopters is expected to begin in a month. The order for 307 attacks worth 8,000 crore rupees is in the final stages of approval, that will be divided between Tata Power SED and Bharat Forge. The winning company will manufacture 184 attacks, while the second firm will manufacture 123 attacks based on the design of the winning company, and the second firm will also have to match the price set by the winning company. Today's top 3 comments.